Hey guys, what's up? My name is Patrick and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'll be showing you the difference between using a variable ND filter when shooting outdoor. So basically, ND filter is just a protective shade for your camera lens, just as what we need for our eyes when we are in a very exposed sunlight. Um, ND filter allows us to give more control over the shutter speed and aperture. So right now the filter is attached to my camera lens and I'm shooting at my 1545 kit lens and I'm going to uh, remove this filter to show you what it's like without it. So there you go, it's totally blown out. So I got this variable ND filter that goes from 2 to 400 ND okay so the ND 400 is totally blackout while the ND 2 is somewhat kind of like overexposed. This filter has a thread size of 49mm which is perfectly fits my kit lens 49mm. You can check your thread size on the front of your lens this should be written in there. Okay so at the moment I'm shooting at 24 frames per second so based on the rule you should um, set your shutter speed twice the size of your um, shutter speed so the shutter speed should be 1 over 50th of a second and my aperture is 3.5 and ISO 100 because I'm just using this 1545mm kit lens and I'm gonna put it back as you can see there's a huge difference between putting a ND filter when shooting outdoor and yeah, it looks way better. It looks properly exposed compared earlier. Okay, I'm gonna remove it again to show you the difference. That is without the filter and this is with a filter. It looks way more cinematic, way more realistic, and absolutely properly exposed. Totally worth it. Yeah, uh, I'm here under the sun, and it's like almost 12 noon. As you can see, if I remove my hat, there, there you go. The good thing about this variable ND filter is just you can just adjust to whatever conditions you got when you're outdoor. So at the moment I'm on these um, three shades, so it's not too it's not too sunny. So I can just adjust it to lighter one, to ND two, or whatever. And with this variable ND filter or just an ND filter, you get a really good background separation. Look at me on my background. I'm only using this kit lens, so I don't really have that bokeh effect, the 3.5, because I'm only got a 3.5 aperture. Yeah, so I'm under the sun now. I'm just gonna adjust this to make it a little bit darker or to suit whatever conditions that I've got. There you go. And the dual autofocus is functioning just fine.
as you can see even even putting the ND filter the Canon's dual autofocus still working perfectly as you can see I'm framing that on the on my baby's face you see it's tracking very well ND filter for me as a beginner is really useful when shooting outdoors just like this one yeah I'm shooting on a broad daylight we're just taking advantage of the sunlight over this weekend so yeah it allows me yeah just like I said earlier it allows me to have a control on my shutter speed so technically when you're filming you should uh, technically when you're filming your shutter speed should be double your frame rate so I'm shooting at the moment at 24 frames per second and my shutter speed should be at 1 over 50th of a second so that's all for today guys I hope you enjoy this uh, short video of how to use variable ND filter or ND filter Okay, so just remember this basically is just a protective shades for your camera lens and it's really great for shooting outdoors. And yep, I'll see you guys next time.